What do you do if you have a dog who's normally quiet, but who barks at you because, well, they want you to play, or they want you to throw something, or rub their belly, or mom, pay attention to me. So those dogs who bark at us because they want something, they're only barking because they want that thing, whatever that thing is. Because they wanna play, because they wanna be rubbed in just that special perfect spot. They want a treat, they wanna walk, they wanna be fed, they need to poop or go potty. Pretty much, they need attention. Those demand barkers want something, and they don't care what they do until they get that something. And that something is from any one of those items that I've listed, and there are probably many more. And in fact, Yeti does that Five minutes left in a really, really good TV show, he will come up to me and start barking like crazy because he wants to play fetch, he wants a belly rub, he wants whatever, and he wants it right then at that moment, at that key moment in that TV show, he wants it. So what we hear is bark, 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 bark. Meanwhile, you're trying to watch that TV show or you're trying to focus in on your book because that chapter is getting really good or you just want to nap or peace and quiet, just whatever you need, you don't want to pay attention to whatever your dog is barking at. So when we say no to them, what they hear is, let's play fetch. Let's throw the ball. I'm gonna rub you. Treat, 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 treat. Who wants to go on a walk? Do you want that juicy steak for dinner? Who's a good dog? Who wants attention? So of course we want them to stop barking. So we throw that ball. We pet the dog. We make them believe that we're paying attention to them. When in reality, what that's really actually truly doing we're actually encouraging them to keep doing that barking thing that we want to stop we're rewarding that behavior so your dog is thinking oh my mom wants to play with me mom wants to rub me mom wants to hang out with me mom wants to bring me on a walk mom 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 mom, mom wants to love me and hug me and pay attention and all that good doggy stuff right now that barking doesn't start off as a full force bark dog comes over silently he starts nosing you they lick their lips for a treat or food. They wiggle their tail. They nose us for that ear rub or special pet. And that quickly escalates to dropping their favorite slimy toy right in your lap. They lower their front paws while they're vigorously wagging that fuzzy tail. And then they begin barking for attention. They might even puppy bite. If you keep paying attention to your dog by telling him down, off, leave me alone, no, not playing, they hear, yes, I'm gonna play. Sure, I'll give you that treat. Oh boy, you want a steak, here it comes. If you're talking to your dog, that's enough of a reward for them right there. So how do you reverse that? How do you actually treat that dog who's barking for attention? You're gonna give them a timeout. Walk them out of that room silently. Like, you're not even gonna say anything to them. You're just gonna walk them out of that room. You'll give them a sit down, like place or a stay command. Once they're sitting down, they're staying, they're quiet, you'll give them a bone, a chew toy, something to reward your dog for doing that great behavior. We wanna set our dogs up for success. We don't wanna accidentally encourage them to keep doing those bad things. Now, young dogs are wonderful to train for this because they don't yet know how to act. Set them up for success by crate training because their crate is a nice, safe, happy place for your dog. And it gives you and your dog some peace and quiet. Make sure your dogs understand their crates are going to be happy places. When you put your dog in his crate, be sure to encourage it by having a treat and a toy nearby. You know, not for the overnight at all, but just for that quiet time that you need. But make sure that that toy is a hard, sturdy toy, like a Kong toy. Introduce them to that crate while they're on good behavior. You need to be the pack leader. So in addition to our videos, I've also written a free article for you. And when you sign up for our free emails, you'll have access to this free article. It's called our Stop Barking Guide. It's at yetisplace.dog forward slash stop barking. Be sure to sign up because it's free and in addition you'll get other free tips and tricks for you as well. For more tips and tricks be sure to check out this video and we'll bark at you next time.